Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see what is aggregation, what is the scope of aggregation and how we can redefine aggregation scope. As this topic is bit lengthy, I have decided to cover this video in two parts. First of all, we will discuss about what is aggregation. Aggregation is actually a family of functions known as the aggregation function. I will show you first which are the function I am talking about. So if I will create a KPI here and I will say add measure and these are the function which are aggregation function. Sum, count, average, mean, max, median, fractile, only, concatenate, mode, mean string, max string and first order value. So this aggregation is a family of all these function and it is taking input as multiple field values and return a single result per group. So what I mean to say is, say I have expression sum of sales and the result we are getting here is 71 million something. So sales here is a field name and this sales field has got more than one value. It's, it could be multiple value. And sum is a family member of aggregation function. So it will give you a result based on single or multiple field values and the result will be based on one line per group. When I am saying one line per group means in a tax or in a gauge chart or in KPI where we are usually not using dimension, it will give you a single line. But as soon as you can see the left hand side chart where I have used order year as dimension, it will give you one line per group value. So the group value means the order year field has got four values, 2019, 20, 21 and 22. Here we are getting result one line per group value means four lines. So we will get four different cells. This aggregation functions, sum, mean, max, average, count, this can be used at front end and we can also use them at back end. Front end I have shown you like this. If you are using them at the back end or in the script level, you have to use group by function. So when we are doing sum of sales in a KPI, it will give you total sales for the entire application or dashboard. And when we are using the same function, same expression in state table, it will give you total sales by the dimension value we have used. The same result you will get when you use bar chart or line chart or pivot table. If I will add another dimension here, say order quarter. So you can see here I have added order quarter here. So now the end result will be based on combination of order year and order quarter. So we have four years. For the current year, we have only two quarters and for previous three years, we have four quarters each. So altogether, we have 14 quarters. We are getting 14 lines here. Let's move back to the previous sheet. So whenever we are doing any calculation in click, there are two major factors which is deciding which record it should show. This is called as aggregation scope. The first one is the dimension value. So order year here, here is a dimension and it has got four values. While on the right hand side sum of sales in KPI don't have any dimension. So the end result depends on number one dimension value. And the second one is the selection. So the end result also depends on the selection you have made. So as soon as we select something here, the end result will reflect accordingly. Because this aggregation function, this sales is actually sum of sales So this sales is actually sum of sales. So this aggregation function is considering the selections. Same way, the end result is different if you use single field or multiple fields as a dimension. But you may come across in situation where you want your 
calculations to ignore selections, to ignore dimensions, or sometimes to ignore selections and dimensions both. This we can achieve by total qualifier, set analysis, and combination of both. How? I will show you. First of all, this order year and sum of sales trade table I have downloaded in Excel file and I will show you what exactly we want to achieve. We want to find out what is the contribution of 2019 over the entire period. Means we have total sales is 71 million and 2019 sales is 16 million. So what we exactly want to achieve is 16 million divided by this. So we can say here that order year 2019 contribution is 23.5 percentage. The same way if you want to do this for 2020 it will be 31.84 and so on. If we want to find out the same in click sense then the numerator is sum of sales while the denominator should be 71 million. So it should be something like that. Your total sales is 71.9 million and your contribution means your sum of sales divided by the total sales. And at the end you will get 100%. Let's move to click sense now. By simply writing sum of sales with order year as dimension, we will not able to get this 71.9 million for each row because of the aggregation scope. So in this case, we can use total qualifier. When we use total qualifier, it will disregard the dimension which we have used here and it will perform the aggregation for all the possible field values. So how to write this? We have function here, aggregation function sum of sales. So we need to mention total inside the bracket and before the field name. And you can see now we are getting 71.9 million. This is as total sales. So this total sales is depending on what values available for the dimension. If I will select 2019 and 2020, then it will give me total sales for the selected years. We will see more about this in next video. Now we have sum of sales as numerator and sum of total sales as denominator. We can do something like this. And by using the number formatting, we can achieve the result. So when we use total qualifier, it will disregard the dimension which we have used and it will aggregate the value based on the field value available of that dimension. Now, if we want to achieve the same for our next example, then I can do the same here and I can say sum of total sales and number formatting is this and then I will say sum of sales divided by sum of total sales. And the number formatting is percentage. So now we are getting the similar result. So the first line will say that quarter 1 of 2019 contributing 8.02 percentage to the overall sales. But say you also want to find out what is the contribution of 2019 quarter 1 in 2019? What is the contribution of quarter 2 2019 in overall sales of 2019? I will show you this by Excel file. So this is our initial table and we have achieved this by using sum of total sales. 
Now say we want to find out something like this. So overall sales of 2019 is 16 million, 16.9 million. Same way, 22.9 million is the sales of 2020. 2021 sales is 26 million and 2022 sales is 6 million. So what we need here is instead of total sales, we need sales by year as a denominator. So in this case, the total qualifier, we have to write some way that it will disregard the order quarter. But at the same time, it will also consider order year. How to write this? I will show you. So sum of, instead of sum of total sales, we have to write sum of total sales and then after total, we have to use this angle bracket and inside that, need to mention the dimension which we need to consider. So we need to consider order here. And now you can see we are getting group by year. So the first four line will tell you the sum of sales for 2019. Then line number 5, 6, 7, 8 will give you sales of 2020. Now we have our numerator we have our denominator so we can write something like this sum of sales divided by sum of total sales and group by order year this order year means the total qualifier will consider order year and it will group by the end result by order year and by using the number format as percentage, I will get the desired result. So now the sum of these four will be 100% and then the sum of line number 5 to 8 will be 100% and so on. So this way we can use total qualifier to disregard the selection. We can use angle bracket and mention fill name which will group by our end result even though we have used the total qualifier. In next video, we will see how to use set analysis to redefine the selection of aggregation scope. Till then, thanks and have a great day.